In this video, we will learn what is an equation, what is the meaning of the equal to sign in an equation and what is the solution of an equation. Here is a weighing scale. When the weights on both the plates of the scale are equal, only then it is balanced, otherwise it is not. Let's say we have four balls on the right plate and without counting, we place a certain number of balls on the left plate, which makes the left plate go down and the right one go up. Can you tell which plate has more balls? Since the left plate is down and the right plate is up, then definitely the number of balls will be more on the left. Here, do we know the number of balls placed on the left ball? No. So can we call it a variable? Yes. The value of any unknown number can change because it is not fixed. Since it can vary, this number is called a variable. Let's use x to represent this variable. With this, will you be able to express this in the language of mathematics? We will express it as x is greater than 4. What should we do if we have to balance both the scales? Obviously, we need to remove some balls out of the x balls. Here, if we take one ball out of the x balls, the number of balls in the left plate will be x minus 1. This expression with variables is called an algebraic expression, which we have studied earlier. But still the scales are not balanced. This means x minus 1 is also a number greater than 4. Now if we take one more ball out, then the total of two balls from x balls is reduced. That is. The expression can be represented as x minus 2 and with that, the scales are also balanced. Therefore, now we can say that the number of balls on either side is equal to x minus 2 is equal to 4. This is called an equation. There are two sides of a given equation. The left side, that is the left hand side or LHS, and the right side or the RHS. The sign between the two sides, equal, means equal sign which is used to express the relation of equality on both sides. In other words, both sides have equal values in the equation. It is not necessary that there should be a variable in every equation. Equations that contain only fixed numbers are called numeric equations. For example, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. The term equation is generally used only for equations with variables. Now observe the expression x minus 2. In this, we can take any value of x. Can we assume any value of x in the equation also? Let's understand this. If we take the value of x as 3, then the left hand side will be 3 minus 2 equals 1. Is it equal to the right hand side? No, it's less. That is, the condition of the equation is not satisfied if the value of x is 3. Similarly, even if the value of x is 4 or 5, the condition of the equation is not satisfied. But, by taking the value of x as 6, we get 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 on the left hand side which is equal to the right-hand side. This satisfies the condition of the equation. Similarly, the condition is not satisfied if the value of x is 7 or greater. What do we understand from this? The equation is satisfied for the given value of the variable. The fixed value of the variable with which the condition is satisfied is called the solution of the equation. The solution of this equation is x is equal to 6. The method of finding out whether the equation is satisfied by giving the variable a value 
is called the trial and error method. There are many methods that we will learn in the next classes. With this, you must have understood what is an equation, what is the meaning of the equal to sign in an equation and what is the solution of an equation.